In 2007, we were excited about expanding our family, but we weren't sure what that would look like. Not that I wasn't blessed with my two girls, but I knew that I felt like there was more. We began meeting a lot of families that had fostered, who had adopted, and all of a sudden we thought, is this kind of, maybe this is our path. I used to think that fostering was for people that maybe were like really strong and I don't know, I just, I thought that's something I could never do. I had a lot of crazy thoughts like, you know, what if I get some kid that's violent or what if I get a kid that won't obey or what if I get kids that are mean to my biological children. God began to change our hearts towards some things and there was a mom that was in need and so um, we took in her three children. They just need a place to stay and some encouragement through a hard time and they ended up with us for about 18 months but um, it was good, it was hard. Again, um, God's Word became very alive in our life just um, on our knees and asking God for guidance and wisdom. I've had to surrender my, um, my desires and my will in order to um, fulfill His purpose in my life. And um, it has not always been easy, but I would have missed out on, on God's promises without that. God gets to use our family to nurture them and to teach them something different and to show them God's love and to show them the character of God, that God is patient and He's slow to anger and He's abounding with love. And those things need to be shown, especially to kids who've come from trauma and neglect and abuse. And now we have an adopted son. Many of y'all have probably met Jacob. He's been such a blessing and we have have learned a lot through him. God is refining me right now in how to love the women and how to love the moms because I still can't understand the abuse part. I'm trying to understand the culture of addiction. I'm in this big transition of God changing my heart to save all the babies to reaching the moms and the, and the, and the dads. To just talk about foster care, yeah, let's just get rid of all the moms, but I think God is doing more right now. God is asking the church to go meet the women and, and, and save the children because so many people that have been adopted that are older, they still struggle. They feel rejected, they feel abandoned. Even, even adopted kids in Christian homes who've had a great life. Sometimes moms don't have the support that they might need. I'm excited to introduce a new ministry called Safe Families. It is a family encouraging and child hosting program. And so as the body of Christ, we get to come together to support a mom and her children during a crisis or a time of need. I think that at First Christian, if we all caught the passion to take care of other kids and helped moms in distress, I think that God's love would be abundant. I think it would be poured out. I think families would be healed. Women would feel loved and supported. I feel like they would have value. They would have purpose. I know that the kids that we've taken care of just to see them smile because they accomplished something that they never thought they could, whether that's riding a bike or making a 97 on a test or just waking up on Christmas morning. So I've been praying for First Christian. I know that there are so many great families here. I know a lot of people here have extra bedrooms in their house. We have been given much and to who has been given much, much is expected. I have been praying that God would bring, you know, 20 or 30 families, whether that's with safe families or whether that's to foster care, I believe that our church, it's time. It's time for our church to rise up and serve the community. And it is our job as the church to care for these. You might be sitting there thinking, I can't do this. This is too hard. I could never give them back. Um, I'm worried about my own kids. But here's what I want you to know, is that God has a plan and God has a purpose. There's been times where I had no idea what to do, but I asked God for wisdom. And when we seek wisdom, God gives it. And that's the thing, sometimes our life doesn't look like what we thought it would. But um, that's the great part about being Christians, you know, because God has a plan and we just kind of get to let Him write our story. And so that's exciting.